In order to follow this tutorial, you should be running macOS 10.15 Catalina Renewer. Versions of macOS that shipped before 10.15 came with this piece of software called iTunes. iTunes managed a lot of different features that related to syncing iPhones, iPads, and Macs. However, this software has been discontinued. Now this is managed through the Finder. So what you're going to do is you're going to first launch the Finder, as I've done here. Then you are going to plug in your iOS device, or iPadOS device. Then you'll notice that it will appear in the sidebar as if it were an external storage device. Simply click on the iPhone in the sidebar and a view very similar to the iTunes Sync Manager will appear. It'll first start by loading in all of the content, settings, and items that explain the phone's capacity and current status as well as charge and then present you with the classic syncing options. First, you can see info on the right, files, then photos, books, audiobooks, podcasts, TV shows, movies, and music. Note, if you're using Apple Music, Apple TV and Apple TV+, Plus, Apple Photos, Apple Books, and iCloud Drive, you will not need to sync any content to your iPhone. These will happen automatically when the iPhone is connected to the internet. When you want to eject it, do not click on the eject button in the menu bar, as this will not work. Click on the eject button next to the iPhone's name in the Finder. Once you've clicked eject, the iPhone will begin disconnecting. It may take a few seconds for this to occur.